love light and blessings shamanic allied priestess here and i'm going to be making a video today about a uh, black folk saint um, as i'm continuing the via the season series and basically we're going to be talking about la negra tomasa okay la negra tomasa um i don't have a statue like i usually do um because there really isn't any traditional statue she's particularly synchronized with um, you can do many things or use many different items to synchronize her with. Some people use spirit dolls. So be like a black doll, um, usually wearing a head turban or a head scarf um, and some type of beautiful dress that traditionally is worn in Afro-Latino culture. Or they would use a Madama statue um, like this one. Usually her colors are red and white um and synchronize her spirit with a madama statue so you kind of get the point so on and so forth um you know use different items to synchronize la negra tomasa before we get started in today's video um if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me shamanic priestess.com shamanic priestess.com there you can get spiritual readings specialized or regular tower readings and spell work mentorship and so much more um, if you go to my website and also you can buy my um, spell kits as well shamanic priestess.com it's the link that's linked to every one of my videos in the description bar below also if you want to support my channel you can become a member uh, hit the join button it will tell you the different uh, levels and tiers that you will get exclusive videos, so much more, okay? Now, getting back to this video. La Negra Tomasa is a black folk saint. Um, there's many different stories about her. Um, some people say that um, she was, you know, she was a regular human being, but I mean like her origin story. Uh, some people say they don't know her origin story, but that she was a very powerful spiritualist. And then others claim to know her origin story. What we do know is that she existed over 500 years ago. And also that she was a formerly enslaved woman who was able to and was born to a formerly enslaved woman and was able to get and attain her freedom, okay? She was raised um, in a loving home as the only daughter and um, she was a very, very powerful spiritualist, you know, basically taught from mother to daughter. Um, she is honored in um, Venezuela in Afro-Latino culture, okay? as well as Afro-Cuban culture as well. So basically she's another Afro-Latino spirit, which basically means a Latino individual of African descent. Um, she was well-traveled and had a great reputation when she became a free woman. Uh, she was a midwife, so she assisted with birthing children. She was a very powerful psychic and also a culandera, AKA shaman or medicine woman. Um, and she helped people from all walks of life. So she did not discriminate, whether the very rich to the very um, to the very humble and impoverished person. Okay, um, she dominated the spiritual arts at her time. Okay, uh, she was known and renowned worldwide. Um, her prayers and rituals, even though they were very simple, were said to do miraculous things okay so people told a lot of stories about her they said her reputation was unmatched she was untouchable she was the most powerful spiritualist of her time she was very very generous and she dedicated her life in the service of others um she worked la mesa blanca so she worked the white altar um and you know they said that she can do things with anything like just a mere cup of water and flowers okay she was able to do amazing spiritual things is why i always go back to you don't have to do these really outlandish or intricate rituals our ancestors used what they had and they were so powerful in that is why to this day i try to keep my magic as traditional as possible my spells and my rituals that i mentor people on are very easy to do because it always goes back to your relationship with the spirit realm which she's a great example of that um she would do things to the naked eye that would seem simple, but will have miraculous and very powerful results, okay? So she could do amazing things. And she was also able to predict world events, okay? 
um so after she passed away and now that she's in the spirit realm they say to this day she's a very powerful being anyone who's a devotee of her who's her children um you know her spiritual children she is very generous okay um and at the same time with being generous and motherly and spiritually protecting you and helping you to get the things that you need to live in this world she's also someone who's very honest and very blunt and will call you out when you are wrong okay just like a loving mother would do um she gives help to whoever needs help i'm gonna drink a little zip of water because i do have to moisturize myself mm. i feel discharged from all the talking so she helps those who seek her guidance okay also as with any saint like the madama mama francisca el negro felipe they work with the people that need them the most they work with the people that need them the most okay and not only the people that need them the most most of the time because they choose who works with them most of the time they have a preference for their own community all right people of african descent throughout the diaspora um they choose who they work with now there are exceptions when people outside of that racial group may work with these spirits but the spirits choose those people and that is not as common it's actually a rare occurrence okay it doesn't matter what people say online but um yeah so she works with those who need it okay and again I'm, it's not a racial thing oh being racially reverse races or anything like that it's just a factual thing these types of spirits because of their history and we have to understand that they choose the people that they work with okay and she's from a very closed and powerful afro-cuban afro-venezuelan uh, cultural closed tradition um so la negra tomasa um she is a very beautiful woman okay she was beautiful when she was alive she's and she's beautiful still um and she's bougie um very similar to the energy of mama francisca in the sense of she likes to wear a head covering she likes to wear big hoop earrings and red lipstick and she likes to look good she loves good smelling perfumes okay she likes to look her best when she comes into possession not only does she want to put makeup on and cover her hair she loves to wear beautiful long dresses, okay? And again, the head coverings, she likes to look good, okay? Um, she cannot stand injustices of any kind, and she loves music, specifically any type of music from a tambor, okay? Other offerings that people give her besides dancing and music and giving her things to, you know, edify or make her appearance beautiful when somebody is when she is in possession of someone's body she also takes other offerings such as coffee tobacco okay moonshine or alcohol you know with high concentration of alcohol okay well high concentration of liquor pretty much okay so high proofs of liquor um she loves sweet drinks she loves flowers of all kinds and colors and her feast day is august 15th so these are just some of her offerings that she likes and I also wanted to share a prayer that people do. I tried my best to translate this prayer because it was in Spanish. So I try to give you the essence of this prayer. And her prayer goes like this. Okay, so this is a prayer to La Negra Tomasa. O oh God, Almighty Father, Creator of the universe, always holy, have mercy on all your creation. <clears throat> I give you thanks for a new day full of life and experiences experiences that help us to live and give us fortitude keep fortifying my spirit more and more help me to complete my mission on this earth i ask that you never leave me and always protect me little by little walk alongside me on my path i plead to the spirit of la negra tomasa so that she can help me and attend to me and also attend to my needs on earth to aid in my spiritual services always in light prayers and progress O oh, powerful spirit bring to me your kindness your joy so I can keep serving you 
like my benefactor and protector of my spiritual guadal, which is your quadrant. We talked about that. Guide me, protect me, and shield me from difficulties. Amen. So you can do this prayer for those of you that are called to work with um, La Negra Tomasa. I always recommend when you work with a spirit to get a spiritual court reading or a spirit guide reading to see if this spirit actually wants to work with you. But this is a prayer that you guys can do. Of course, if you want further mentorship on this spirit, you can always book a mentorship session with me. Much love, much light, much blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I really, truly hope you're enjoying this Black Folk Saint series that we have been doing. Much love, much light, and much blessings. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Hey, and don't forget to vote tomorrow. Much love and light for those of you that haven't voted, okay? Let your voice be heard. Much love, much light, much blessings.